Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I'm here looking at the Battle for Vegas, the finale for the American Road Trip Master Builders. So I'm going to give you my quick take on this event. So this entire American Road Trip has been more of a uh, money-oriented event than ever, uh, with multiple flash events, with a lot of new cars, um, and ultimately at the final leg here, I, I have a feeling that this is becoming more or less a pay-to-win uh, event at this point. And why do I say that? Because you have five lock-ins. The first lock-in's easy, right? That's any old car. They, I'm going to use the same car I used before for the other legs of the event. Lock-in number two, again, some old cars that I have fully maxed, no issue. And for some reason, they put the paid flash car here. Now, they already made money on people getting them to buy this car because most of us bought the car with the hope that it would actually replace one of the later lock-ins as an option so we're not stuck having to go get uh, the sh shotgun just to compete to finish. Well, no luck this time. Not only did they not replace the shotgun with that other option, they made the shotgun so it's a must option before you can finish the event. So one, that'll delay the progress for most players. Um, two, it also forces you to go back into and look at uh, the related showdown and figure that out. And if you can't get that, there's no chance. Now, in addition, the two cars they make you use as prize cars from before, one of them is the Grand National. And this is the big problem for any player uh, because it's a brand new car that's a single car in a brand new brand and it's a purple star so that there's just no way for you to get fusions easily for it and the way to get fusions for it will be one converting some of your race pass you know universal fusions if you got a lot congratulations your life is a little bit easier but i doubt you have 135 exact uh fusions of the types you need to get the car filled out that means you have to get epic fusions rear fusions and uncommon fusions from crates there will be free crates but i doubt it's going to be more than one every day or two so at five fusions each with duplicates most of the time 14 days for the event let's say you get seven crates or maybe eight crates um let's just say you get 14 crates you get two stage sixes or whatever out of it plus all the fusions it's still not even going to be close to be enough to finish this event these events are designed so that you can lock these car in with probably a partial build but where they get you is right near the end here so 66 to 69 are gonna basically block 90 percent of players who get that far unless they have their cars built enough and the biggest one that's going to be troublesome for anybody is going to be the buick the buick is going to cost you money and that's where this is really if you don't pay you're not going to win kind of thing you're not going to win the inyo if you don't pay it just even if it's a dollar, you still got to pay, okay, to win. Now, the related showdown is a similar story. It's a bit of a, eh, it's definitely the prize car, paid car heavy event, okay. Your regular cars, even the fastest out of the regular possible cars would only be uh, number five or number six quickest car in the list. The top three will, will be without a doubt the prize car itself, the Inyo, followed by, most likely, um, the Mullet Missile, and then the Grand National, and then the Recoil, and then the other potential prize cars. Then, slowly but surely, it gets down to your regular Elite Tuner cars. So, for the most part, all of your cars that you already have will not even come close to being top five for finishing the showdown that means there will be plenty of people with the faster cars because they either paid for it or they built it or they have the prize pontiac whatever it is they will be the first to finish the showdown and then get the shotgun and then they'll be coming back some of them with the inyo uh trying to build more more uh, rankings so that showdown is going to be a bit on the messy side and you will absolutely need the shotgun to get through so if you're getting the shotgun last are you going to build this last now this is the ford so that's a good news the fusion should be easy uh stage six is much like anything it's purple star 
So stage sixes is where it's going to be the problem. And are you going to get enough stage sixes? The other piece that's going to be the issue is that for recent events at least, uh, natural motion has been making what looks like lock-in number three generally are easier races than four and five because, again, when you get to the end, uh, you find that race four, lock-in four and five may end up in race uh, 69, okay, where it's going to be a real challenging speed race or 67, and 68, 66, usually it's going to be three or four or four or five, but it's never easy. So, Three may get lucky and be easy, but if you lock in Buick in number three and you don't have enough fusions, as obviously I don't here, then you might get stuck before you even get to the hurdle races. So, it, and that may put you back even further where you can't even lock in race number, um, a lock in number four at race 42 or lock in number five at race 56. So there, there are a lot of challenges strategically in how to move this forward. And if you get the NEO, you know, there's like a, victory lap thing which I'm sure if you got that far you should be able to build the Inyo and just you know finish that but for the average player even paid players uh, we're looking at the headaches are all here and primarily with that Buick how do I feel about it well I, I've tried to finish most American road trip events up to this point but this is one of those that I may ultimately throw in the towel and just say forget it uh, the prize car is good. It's a good car. It's a good live racer based on the numbers, but it's not a must-have. No car in the game is so good that I'm willing to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars to get. It just, to me, that's not worth it. And with the problem with the fusions, that's a definite reality for some people for them to get all the fusions. So that's really the final straw for me. When it when it gets to that point where there's there are no substitute cars that I've already paid for that could be used, and the one car that must be used is a difficult car for me to get anywhere with. Usually, those are the kind of events I ultimately say, "All right, forget it. I'll skip it." And it's worked for me very well uh, in the last few years. I get the cars that make sense, and I don't have to build a brand new brand. And at that point, I get the car. I build the car slowly but surely over the years. Uh, I'm not worried about it, but. For a prize car of this type, this prize car is not hard to build, but unfortunately, the car I need to get there is hard to build, and that might be the hurdle that I won't be able to jump over. So that's my take on this event. I think it's going to be um, a good event for the developers. I think they're going to make a nice uh, chunk of uh, Christmas bonus out of this. Uh, it's not going to be as good an event for most of us that are trying to get through it, at least not going to be cheap. And, you know... And unfortunately, this is probably the future of this kind of event. I mean, it's always the developer and the players are always kind of trying to figure each other out. Like, how much are you willing to spend on any one event versus how much am I actually willing to spend? Is your stuff really that good that it's worth it? So there's a balance somewhere, but unfortunately, that's not a balance. I'm going to find out, um, at least not with this event. I'm not going to try to find out. You let me know what you think and how you plan to go about it. Feel free to make comments and, uh, you know, feel free to let me know if you think there's some strategy that can get you there easier and quicker without as much expenditure. Good luck to everyone who's going for the finale and going for the uh, final car. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like my channel and would like to get notified when I put up these videos, subscribe, hit the bell, and you get notifications when new videos are added. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.